Hey, hashtag banana bunch. It is Sonia and Matt joining you on this rainy Thursday. I've got an exciting piece that we're going to do today because we've been working on playing in the studio, doing some smaller projects. But I told you earlier this week we had a chance to, Matt loves it so much when he gets to help me haul furniture. So we have a bunch of pieces in house. And I'm going to start with this one right here today, which is just an old hot chip. Matt is my partner in crime, and he's so good when it comes to like judging ages. So I'm gonna throw it to him real quick. What? How old do you think this piece is? Um, I'm guessing. To be honest with you, let me look at the back. Let me look at the top. What do you guys think? I am guessing. Mm -hmm. Throw it out. I am guessing twenties. Ooh. Um, well, I colonial, that. colonial uh, revival. Cool. I late, love it. Late 20s, actually. Well, I think it's time for some love, okay? So I picked this up this uh, week. Somebody called me and said, hey, Sonia, I know you buy furniture and have a bunch of pieces. And so I scored this piece for $20. Was that good, guys? What do you think? 20 bucks. Got this hutch. Yes, it has some damage. If you come up close, you can really start to see all the wear. And in fact, over here, you can see where it obviously leaked on it at one point. And so it's got some damage and stuff on the side. So I'll do a repair up here. I'll peel this off and maybe or see what I can do with the top of it. Yeah, it's probably going to have to get entirely peeled off and just a new piece of wood put over the top there. And, but that's okay, right? I just took the one knob off right here. I'm going to take the second one off. And I'm going to get ready today and use my milk paint, okay? So for me, I love, say it with me, Sunny Hearts, tell me if you too love shabby, distressed, time-worn pieces. This is pretty and shiny veneer. It is pretty shiny, right? So here is what I know. You guys, well, you guys know that we have two lines of paint. We have our chalky style of paint. Grab a brush, go banana, sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. And you put it on and it stays put. Does what he's told, right? Mr. Pickles, he's the boy monkey. He's the boy monkey, does what he's told, behaves. Miss Petunia, she is the girl monkey, and she is the one that is on our milk paint package. I mean, take a look. And by the way, this is my stash. Can you tell? It says Sonia's stash right there, okay? True story. That means nobody gets mailed by stash. This is my stash. But you two can have your own. Just go to Junk Monkey Paint. But Miss Petunia right here, you see how she's like, you know, doing a handstand. She's got the paintbrush in her tail. She's got a milkshake over here, which by the way, when you make up our milk paint, the reason why it's called milkshake milk paint is because it is the consistent consistency of a malt milkshake. And I don't know about you, but that's pretty darn awesome, right? So, and you can have fun with it, of course, and really like water it down, do some fun stuff, create stains with it, whatever you want to do. But I love it because milk paint is unpredictable. Miss Betunia, she is like the crazy little one where, you know, you tell Mr. Pickles to sit still, he's going to be good. Miss Betunia, on the other hand, can't keep her butt still, okay? So she, she cracks, she chips, she peels, she does fun, fun stuff, okay? So if you like to live your life with a little bit of spontaneity, okay, and you're okay with that, and for me, I love chippy goodness, right? Yummy chippy goodness, that I am going to take my chances. I'm not going to add any extra bond to Miss Petunia to try to help her behave herself. I'm just going to throw it on and see what happens, okay? And Matt was saying how the veneer is kind of shiny on here, and it's true. So I'm getting a little bit excited because I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put just the milk paint straight on it and see what happens. It could completely fall off to the ground. It could suck on. You just never know. So that's the difference between the milk paint and our chalky style paint, okay? So you can proceed ahead depending on the style that you want finished. Now, what I could do to also help the milk paint adhere, if I really wanted to make sure it's stuck on really well, is grab one of our sanding blocks, okay? And what I would do, do you see the scratches that happen? This is just a new sanding block. I, this is the same ones I have on my website. And you see how it scratches it up, right? So you're basically creating a surface so that when you put the paint on, it can stick on even better. But I'm willing to take my chances and I'm just gonna not even give it a little sand over. I'm just gonna go right to town and make up my milk paint. So come over here, join me over here. What's everybody up to today? And yes, we'll be doing banana bucks. Babe, you wanna tell them all about that while I make the milk paint? Yes, indeedy, 25 big banana bucks goes out to. All right, Whoever shares this and writes share underneath. And we pick one person. And we pick one person. You got it. All right, so you equal parts water and the milk paint pigment. Keep going. I'm good. Yeah. Anna, you're not supposed to tell people that. I was just about to get confirmed to a federal judgeship. Now that's going to be up in uh, up in the air. Uh, it's 74 in Oxnard. It's about 63 here in 
Pennsylvania. Oh, geez. Don't lean on the um, way, man. I just scooched it. I almost I know. fell That's over. the next paint project. You looking yes. down right now? I think I just put six. I think I just put six monkey scoops. Okay. Oh, uh, it's way. it's Ian Minuta's birthday. Woohoo! Happy birthday, girl! Heck yeah! You get to celebrate us with us. Uh, you know, banana bunch here. So. What are you doing? I'm just making sure because I'm going to tell somebody. You're trying to This read. is half a tablespoon. So I put six half tablespoons of the paint from the that back. That makes together. three full tablespoons. Is it? Thank you. I'm so glad that you told me that. <laughs> I couldn't remember how big this thing was, man. Listen. Oh, this is oh. my water. No, no. Drink the smart smart water, Sonia. Yeah. I need to drink the smart water. That's me. It keeps me smart. This is just my my regular tap water here, right? You know, my spray bottle that's been sitting around for a while. Mm -mm -mm. Two, three four five six yeah but we fixed that J uh jai all right talking about the uh remember we did the one um table and everything bubbled up and we had to throw some extra bond oh, on you're there talking about the chippy oh yeah. that was extreme chippy this could happen with this piece too but it's a good learning process because i wouldn't know if that ever happened then i would just pull up my extra bond and go over it but i'm willing to take my chances today you know what i'm saying look how pretty this color is isn't this a nice just fall the moss color? Green? It's called, uh, no, it's not our moss green. It's our um, Irish eyes. Do you want to show oh, them real yeah, quick yeah. while I'm, I'm, right, let me go over I'm to stirring the, it up, baby? Let's go over to the big board. Right, the over. big milk paint board. Uh, we are using Irish eyes right here. Actually, the lights, our lights aren't working. Why are not our lights not working? So these are your 20 milk paint colors. I'm sorry, the uh, photo is shaking. <laughs> it is his real life. Yeah. Did you have your caffeine today? I had too much caffeine today. Did you do the monster? Did you unleash the beast? I did several. Did you do monsters I did today? several monsters because I was driving to Pittsburgh. Oh, nice. I, I was only, but the good thing is, is when I do have my caffeine, it cuts down my road rage incidents by half. Guys, so look what I did here. That's always a good thing. All right, so do you see here what happens is all I did was put the water in equal amounts of the paint pigment, and now I have this beautiful green paint. So it's very easy. So even though our milk paint comes in packages, what's really cool is it lasts indefinitely. Just don't get it wet or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it's really easy, and you can make up as much as you want. So I can add more whatever I want to do. And in the first 10 minutes is when the water starts to, you know, get into the paint pigments and everything starts to disperse. So now I have this beautiful color. So now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go bananas. Bananas, bananas. All right. Let me go ahead and wash my whisk, which by the way, make sure that if you're getting some milk paint, you're gonna wanna get a whisk, okay? These are on our website as well, just for a couple bucks. And honestly, when you stir it out with a whisk, it just helps um, everything combine so nice. I'm gonna like throw mine back in here. It just fits perfectly for this thing. Just so I can like whisk Don't it. ask me to reach in and get it. What? Yeah. You're gonna ask me later. No, I'm not gonna ask you to reach in and get it. You kidding me? All right, Ooh, look at this. All right, there we go. There we go. Look at this beautiful green. Hang on, guys. you're what like, you, you like, you, you go for extreme go. close up. All right, we good? All right, let's go. You ready for your close up? Oh, All right. It's my buddy Terry Paraman All right, let's see here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start. You know what I, oh, I didn't take my before photo. Somebody quick, take a before photo. Stand back, stand back. There you go, post it below so I can see it. And go. This live. All right, ready? Go. Okay. All right, you sure I should go? Go. Sure? You sure about that? Don't start. All right, it's like when somebody behind you pulls up in the car and they start riding your bumper and you're like, you think this is slow? Oh, 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 watch me go slow. Look, guys, I always love it when I put on the very first uh, paint strokes because you really get to see that color, right? Now, I'm going for Shabby Distress Chippy, so I'm using my chip brush today. They're on the website as well, and this is my favorite brush for when I want to achieve just that old time worn look, which I do. So right now you're watching us, we just put one layer of our green Irish eyes. We're definitely smiling today. Oh, you got some uh, paint brush hairs. Is that it or oh, is no that cracks? Worries. No, that's because I just used oh. a new brush. Okay. All I had to, actually, you should have reminded me. All I had to do was two things. Just do a quick talk on the brush before. Oh, Linda, start. Linda, Linda, you're funny. Or else I'm going to be Linda, Linda. this and they would just fall out later. Linda, Linda, What's I just said no tarp laughed out loud. I know. I'm going to come to California and use you as a tarp, Linda, <laughs> Linda, Linda. Smart people use tarps. Uh, this is Irish eyes. That's an inside joke. That's an inside joke. Milk. Linda. Milk. Yeah. 
Yes. It's just an all natural paint um, that we have and it's so easy to work with. So just because it's in a package and it's done uh, in the dried powder mix with the pigments, don't let that like shy, make you shy away from using it because all you do is add a little bit of water and you're good to go, right? So that's what's really cool about it. You can control the consistency of it, make up what you need as you go. Like I say, it lasts indefinitely. It's all natural, it's just so easy. But the difference between this and our chalky style paint, if it did the same thing, we would need to have the two lines of paint that we do. But what this does is give you that chippy, yummy look. You never know what it's gonna do. Um, so the more shinier your surface, glossier your, your surface, the bigger chance in getting chipping and just things that will just naturally happen. So as I walk my way around here and I paint this, and no, I'm not even gonna tape off the window, true story. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a Lysol wipe when I'm done and just and then Windex my window. Easy peasy. But if you really wanted to, you could just go ahead and tape off your, your door if you really wanted to, but it doesn't bother me to do that, right? Look at this already. Look at the color. Matt, what do you think? I, I'm sorry, I found bubble wrap. You found bubble wrap? It's funny, you know, because we pack and ship, of course, here at the Junk Monkey, all across this beautiful country every so day. So satisfying. But uh, there's always bubble wrap you'll find around here, right, in the shop. And uh, people, you know, have their kids that come to the shop, they will always find the bubble wrap, like every single time. And if there's a little piece, you know, you give a kid a piece of bubble wrap, you know, with the mom's okay, heck yeah. They're leaving here smiling. Bubble wrap is... Just everybody loves it. We don't need toys. We just even need Matt wrap. loves yes. this bubble wrap, right? Bonnie, we do not ship to the UK yet, yet. <laughs> but watch out, girl, we're coming. All right, so bit by bit, step by step, guys. What do you think so far? Of that color? Oh, I love it. They like it. Yeah? yeah. So I haven't taken out what's inside just yet, but I'm really thinking about redoing the shelves in there with. Um, Maybe just, I don't know, maybe I'll go find something like with black polka dots or something like that to play off this green. I think that green and black and white is a beautiful combo. What do you guys think of that one? Hi, Debbie. And then I'll, I might leave the um, the back in there. I may go over it with a little bit of our antiquing glaze um, just to revive the wood and kind of fill in any scratches that might be on the shelves. And leave it with a brown uh, style interior, the brown wooden interior. And then with distressing done on the outside, it's really gonna match up nice, right? It's not gonna feel like it's just got solid color on the outside and brown on the inside. It's gonna be brown and green on the uh, outside. Usually right? uh, with milk paint, if you want more solid, you're gonna wanna to use it on raw wood yep, or exactly. sand a little bit, but we're seeing uh, what what the chip effect is gonna happen here yep. without it. So anyways, yes, I was waiting for that. But if you want all hey, over solid effect, then do use the chalky stuff because then there's no guesswork, right? What's that? Uh, you're missing you're missing a spot. I am. Yes, very obvious spot. Well, wait till I stand up and do like a whole look around. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I see it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks. Matt. You should use those napkins inside. Oh, that's a great idea, people. That's a great idea. I like that. I Lori like that. says her blue Irish eyes are smiling. Ha uh, ha ha. Awesome. I got brown eyes. Let's let's do a poll. Color eyes do you guys have? Matt, you have like blue green eyes. My eyes are green. They they change. Yeah. Like my they're eyes blue change. green. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're more blue, but I think they're green. They're green. What does your driver's license say? Uh blue because they were ice blue when I was a kid, but uh what, in my thirties they turned green? They turned green, yeah. Yeah. They were yeah, gray. Well, they're like real, blue. real ice blue and green and uh, gray on yeah. certain days, but now they're yeah. green and. My dad green had uh, growing up. I remember his eyes being gray blue. Craziest thing, right? Crazy, crazy. Yep. So. I'm a brown eyed, brown haired girl. Yep. My eyes change with the weather. Is that what it is? Yep. Real. Um, no, you don't use. A, you don't do any prep if you're just glazing a piece, do you? Are you just glazing a piece? Yeah. Like for what I just said, what I would do. This is Hungry Thirsty Wood, so I would actually put glaze just, right over this wood as uh -huh. a way just to kind of like nourish it and um, just make it look healthy again. You know what I mean? Because after some time, and we said this is 1920s, it's Hungry Thirsty Wood, right? So I love just letting it sit. <clears throat> now this is just one coat. You can do as many coats as you want. 
But I'm going to do one and see if I like that just like that um, because I'm going to do lots of distressing. Adina says brown, but mine changed like Matt's. They really? get almost black sometime. Yeah, I, if I were you, I'd be calling, the, uh, be calling a priest. Anyways. <laughs> Her other half hour, right? Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Yeah, I've seen those contacts and stuff that people get for their eyes, too. That is wild stuff. Yeah. That's cool. I used to know what, a girl. What Carrie Lynn Connor say? Contact lens. I gotta go back. What is it? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Uh. <laughs> Carrie Lynn Connor says, sorry, but this is horrific. Not only is the color terrible, but who in the right mind would paint such a beautiful hutch like this? Oh, my God, the humanity. There's always one. Somebody call the police. There's always one. Hey, yeah. you know what? Don't like it? <clears throat> Move along. There you go. All right. If you're going to pay to fix the water damage, then uh, you can come and uh, <laughs> get us the money for it. Till then. Move along. Okay, is it wrong that it cracks me up when people come along our page and say yeah. that stuff? Yeah, because everybody should be exactly like uh, Carrie. Because, you know, she she's the only person in the world whose opinion matters. Ah, oh, on a paint yeah. page. Yes, exactly. Where we paint things. Yes, hmm. yes. So, Funny yeah. stuff. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. God love her. God love yes. her. So, yeah, but yeah, when I grew up, I knew somebody who used to do uh, purple contacts. I thought it was so pretty. She had dark hair and purple, purple eyes. But I've never had contacts before, so that ain't going to work. Uh, Rebecca, they comment because they know they get free abuse here. So, you know, some, some people like to be abused. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm, I'm, one of those, I'm one of those who want to abuse you. I'm sorry, Carrie. Yes. Is that her name, Carrie? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's all downhill from here. All downhill from here. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Why do you think, guys, so far? Mm -hmm. Carrie, don't answer that. Mm -hmm. I you love it. You so far away, I would love to buy the green cabinet. Well, you can get in the car and come Where over from, from California. Oh. <laughs> it's I Nancy Modell. Oh, oh, Nancy. Girl, we need one of those beat me up buttons, don't we? That's yes, yes, mean. Rebecca, it is a song, the Eurythmics. Um, Actually, when I am saying it, I'm doing it more in the vein of Marilyn Manson. Um, but, hey, you know, Nancy said, Matt, 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 if we knew when you were coming to California, maybe you could bring it to me. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how this works. <laughs> Matt's lifted more than his fair share of furniture. I think that's what he's alluding to. That he's over it. I think he's telling me he's over it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And Rebecca's saying he's singing it. I should sing it like Leonard Cohen, right? What are you singing? Lennon Coward. Some of them want to abuse you. Oh, that song, yeah. <laughs> Some of them want to be abused. Oh, my. Yeah. Was that Leonard Cohen? That's a little... William that's little Shatner. Little. That sounded like William Shatner's music, right? All right, so that was what? Does this paint work good on the metal hutch? Yes, the regular junk yeah. monkey paint. Because remember, this Not stuff... Not the milk paint. This stuff likes to chip away, and that's yes. the look I'm going for. That's why I'm using this. Oh, so, how yep. much more are you doing? So that was what? That was three, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Oh man, now you really messed me up. I think I just did three three halves. That's one and a half tablespoons so far. I'm in. All right, I think I might do one more. Well, so good to get, see you too, Ann. It'll be two tablespoons now, right? Two, four teaspoons. Just remember, Ann. Sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm not OCD when it comes to mixing up my paint. I just hey, pretty Michelle. much do half and half. And then yeah. I just go, I dip my brush into it and I go, eh, does that feel like about where I wanna paint with? Like, does that feel like, is it too watery for me? Is it too thick for me? And remember, when you first combine your paint with your water in the first 10 minutes is when it sets up. So if you ever feel like you need to add more water, you can do that. But I've got the front and the side done with three tablespoons of paint so far. So a package of our milk paint is $16, so I will get this entire hutch done 
and have more left over. Yes. So, which will be cool to do. So, one pint. packet of milk paint makes one pint. pint, like our regular cans. Well, our cans are pint plus. They're a yeah. little bit bigger. Yeah. But a pint was what we started off with our uh, paint that people would know it from. It was a, you know, that's what it made. Yeah. And we always say, like, one, like, if you show the hutch behind it, that was done with one can of our regular paint, right? Like we still had some paint. left over, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was the chalky style paint. So one um, milk paint pretty much does the same thing as well, right? One big piece to one. Shelf life of milk paint. It will last longer than you will as long as you don't add water. There we go. All right. So just mix it up as you needed like Sonia is doing. Yep. So now I just decided to add a little bit more, right? I'm not making my entire package because I know that I probably won't need the entire package to, make, to be able to paint this, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and just put some on the bottom down here. Cool, cool, cool. By the way, for those of you who, who've been messaging me and asking, going, I missed your plaid tutorial. How do I do plaid? Because it's fall season and it's so popular right now. I sent out an email earlier today with a link to the video of how to do plaid. So make sure you're on our email list because if you are, I send you links to like projects I'm working on that I don't share here on the page or, um, you know, you get all kinds of stuff like codes, hello, like codes for um, to save money on paint and um, just alerts and news and all that sort of stuff. But if you want the hat plaid tutorial, check your email because it went out today so you can find it and uh, save it in your inbox, right? Or open it up and save the video. Do what you gotta do. Caitlin, don't be talking about your baked goods if you're not talking about my soup. I did, right? Oh. <laughs> We are. Listen, I'm over here painting, and you guys are out there, like, you know, hobnobbins, talking brownies. Yeah. Well, soup is my specialty. I enjoy making a good soup. You can, so, you can serve a lot of people with soup, you know, for the cost of regular meal. And soup always makes people happy, except for the non-soup people. They can, they can just go away. Cheryl's checking in from Cochrane, right. Ontario. The floor. How do you sign up for emails? Just go to jumpmonkeypaint.com and there's a box at the bottom that says sign up or and enter in your email or else you, um, honestly, if you're on the site, I think for like 30 minutes after that, it just pops up and says enter your email here if you want to be get all kinds of alerts and stay in touch. It's our VIP list for 30 like, minutes. Uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Did I say 30 minutes? Nancy's still trying to get us to California with soup. <laughs> Nancy, first it was like just bring the this piece with us now it's soup too. It's yes. gonna be a long way to carry soup. Oh man. Soup. I love soup. I do too. There is nothing worse than carrying things in a vehicle. Do you remember the time Ooh, that sounds I good. worked all morning and I made kebabs and um, we went down over the hill and they all rolled off the seat? Yes. Do you remember that was a bad day? Yeah, and you got I cried that you day. got mad at me over there. It was there. terrible. <laughs> So yeah, Nancy, I don't think I'll be bringing soup cross country. I just feel like that might be a recipe for disaster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, uh, my tomato soup recipe is super easy. Anybody can do it. You can't screw it up. And it will give you five-star restaurant um, ratings, actually. Yes. Tomorrow night, your um, your roast beef recipe is going up on the blog. Oh, oh, soup? is it? The, the sour broughton? Yes, yes, yes. I'm pretty happy, you know, and all this piece with no tart laid down. Look, it's just um, these little drops right here. It, I did pretty well. Yeah, you did. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. Karen, um, I do I both. It depends socks. on how much time I have to make the soup. But I can make it taste almost the exact same way, whether I do can, even stock, even even uh, certain bouillon. Look at all the water. I can get you professional results because here's the dirty little secret. Oh. And a lot of restaurants oh, is now. very few restaurants do the overnight making of the stock like I used to do at some of my restaurants. Uh, a lot of them are actually from uh, rest are actually a bouillon mix or a uh, gelatin actually. So I, I I can get all into that uh, sooner or later. I kid you not. I make the same thing standing in the same place at the counter with the same ingredients. And somehow it does not come out tasting like the way you, you don't have it. the magic. I don't. You don't. I don't. You don't have the magic. But you probably couldn't paint this touch like me either, right? 
Is that a challenge? Maybe. Oh, look, it's already done. To, Too bad. I was yeah. trying to walk you into it. No, no, nope, nope. look, it's already method. done. Yeah. Yeah, it is a challenge, Matt. Yeah. I'll make soup. You paint the hutch. Okay, it'll be our next video. Actually, believe it or not, Lynn, one of my favorite soups to make is <laughs> I call it uh, I call it Pittsburgh I call it Yinzer soup. And I make it with chicken stock, sauerkraut, pierogies, uh, potatoes, onions, peppers, and uh, and uh, sauce and kibasi. So <laughs> she keeps trying to do me into doing a food blog, but I just I need I need a kitchen. I need some place to kind of work. Uh, yeah, I need a Jeffrey Star kitchen. <laughs> If you want to get in my kitchen, you better give me a Jeffree Star. Anything special planned Who for Fort Ligonier days? Big, big kitchen. Matt will come over and cook, and we'll film in your kitchen. How yeah. You uh, let's see. Anything special planned for Fort Ligonier days? Well, uh, my friend and uh, oh, partner uh, there, um, Sean with Creative Cave, is going to be bringing over, I do believe, a Harrison Ford themed uh, I think I prop. Do. I think I should do some maybe some green edges. Yes. Yes. What do you think? Yeah. A Harrison Ford uh, theme prop uh, prop set. You okay. know, Indiana Jones, little Star Wars. You know. Cool. Yep. So, anyways. Adam was a fangirl. Really? Adam is a fan girl. Adam likes his. Uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, I love Indiana Jones. We got an awesome Indiana Jones set. Temple of Doom, Golden Idol. Um, I do. I love Indiana Jones. Yep. I don't know. I love treasure hunting movies. I love pirate, like, you know, pirate gold kind of movies. Anything oh, uh, 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 that's like searching for things. Yep. Yes. I don't know, but I'll definitely look it up, Lynn. Ooh, that's pretty cool, right? Let's see what we're going to do down here. Don't leave that like that. So, you can see in here now that there is like some sticky, tacky down paper mm. and it's stuck down. So, mm. that's going to be a project. I'm going to take that up. But I think I'm what I'm gonna do is go over the inside. Look here. It's okay. It'll okay. dry and fall right off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go over the inside with our brownie antiquing glaze. I'm gonna leave the interior brown. I'm gonna go out and look like at Walmart and see what other shelf liner paper they have because they do some really cool stuff. And I think I'm gonna maybe look for like, I don't know, maybe like a modern kind of color. Like I said, it could be like black polka dot or something like that, but it doesn't have to be, it could be whatever I wanna make it, right? Anna said if Sonia wants to be a mermaid, she should have uh, Jesse do her makeup. Who's that? Jesse, do you know Jesse or is it Jeffrey she's trying to say? Jeffrey, probably. Probably Jeffrey. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Sign me up now. <clears throat> like, sign me up now. That would be so fun, right? I was trying to get I into I want Matt. him to make me look like Sophie Maslow. I saw Matt. I saw um, the mermaid makeup the other day. I'm like, Matt, you should, like, we should do a video where you try to, like, do my, uh, do my mermaid makeup. Have fun with that. Thing. Yeah, no. I can't do it with the fish tights. I'm going to yeah. need somebody like the... Pull it back and do all that stuff, right? Norma said, did you enjoy your time in Newfoundland? Oh, it was awesome. I love my time in Newfoundland. It was terrific. That was a close-up. Oh, I was nose. getting the genuine emotional reaction. Yes, yes. up my nose. Thanks, Matt. Uh, I was yeah. nowhere near your nose holes. <laughs> oh, my. Seriously. Mm -hmm. You might say hello to Matt, my husband, my cameraman today. So, what do you think? So we keep far, it real here. We don't play games. I know. This is real life, people. Pinch me. This is real life. Yes. Oh, I know Jessie. She, she used that. to work at Walmart way back when. Anna says. Oh, somebody. Okay, well, you know, hook us up. Give us the info. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, she's talking about Jess Johnson. Oh, with Facebook. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know the girl that we had on our yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's oh, what I'm saying. I oh, don't like we don't know who she is. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Why? Well, I didn't know what you're talking about. Like everyone My said, sister. Matt needs to do a cooking vlog. All right. Uh, Matt, so... Matt, is Sonia the oldest, middle, or youngest child? Um, that's a two-part question. What's up? Am I the oldest, you? middle, or youngest child? You. Yes. Uh, it's a two-part question. One, I am the oldest. And part two that I question, I'm the only. 
Well, you're your mom's oldest child. Right. How about that? And I'm my father's only child. I got the best of both worlds. And you probably say that's enough. Yes. All right, so this is drying and... How do you get the paint off the glass? Uh, Lysol wipe. Do you see what's happening already? Do you see the chipping cracking? Careful. I'm good. You're going like Come hard. here, let me hold it up your nose. Yes. Yes. This, this just scra scratches off like yes. that. Yes, easy peasy. Or you just take a Lysol wipe. And it's all natural, so it's, you know, it's not... Yep. So what we have to do now is let Hello, this Florida. dry. And what happens with our milk paint is as it starts to dry, then you can watch for fun stuff to happen. So do you see the chipping and the cracking that's happening? That's what I'm going for, a yummy, chippy look, right? So the magic starts to happen once the paint starts to dry and set up. So you never know, you just kind of like watch it dry and see where the goodness happens. But well, you have to be somebody that's not OCD when you use the milk paint because you never know what it's going to do, right? Uh, so you have to be willing. To what know about Sonia, oldest, middle, or youngest? Up. Okay, let's let's get the response to everybody. Do you Facebook? Do you think Sonia is the oldest? I just told them. Oh, way way to ruin that. I'm here trying to segue something, and you just blow it up. Yeah, but you can ask them if they think I'm the smartest. <laughs> My sister is probably watching right now, right? She's not, so you can. You she'll can, watch this later. You can you can leave loose. She'll she'll watch this later. We She's... always have the joke. When I was a poem, actually, I introduced you to uh, my sister Anna, and, and my so it's my me, my brother Mark, and my sister Anna. And uh, my sister every time she's like, "Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the youngest. My sister is the oldest." And so I always like to say. And the smartest, the most wisest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you have a sibling, you know you have to throw that in there, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to continue to dry. And, guys, I am going to antique this piece. It is going to be divine. Hey, Jenny. It's going to be so awesome. So I think we should just let this continue to do its thing all over. And then you get to join me for part two tomorrow. Same time. Same bat cave. And we I get, we, get, da, 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 we can't say that. We can't say that. Can't say what? You can't say that. Can't say what? That's that's Next a Warner Brother. Time. That's a Warner Brother copyright. Mm, we're gonna have to come up with our own then. Yeah. Say hi, your mom and dad's on. Hey, mom and dad. I was talking mom and dad today. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, is in Pittsburgh? Yes, absolutely. What were they telling you? All kinds of stuff. Good stuff. Oh, good. Good stuff. Okay. Look how nice it's looking. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, guys, can you imagine when I get the monkey shine on here and I'm going to be doing some tinted wax and antiquing and Holy. distressing? How awesome this is going to look. Oh, yeah. Holy schmuck. Anne is one of ten kids. Really? <laughs> is there really a middle kid in ten kids? That's the question. I guess the fifth would be the middle kid. This is true. And varying degrees of middle... The further away you get from number five, I guess. Middle or side, start. Monkey care. All right. So this is what's fun. This is what's fun. You just let it completely dry. Okay, the sides, everything. And then we come back and we walk to it and we see what magic starts to happen. And already you can start to see all the chipping and stuff that's happening. And then as it continues to dry, what happens is things will start to chip and do just random things. And so... Here's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I promise, I promise as much as it's hard right now to not want to like, oh, look, so you can see some more right there. Oh yeah, it's starting to happen right there too. See this, see this, the goodness? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a promise to you guys that I'm not going to touch it anymore right now. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And then tomorrow, I promise that uh, I'll do a live and I'll be like, okay, part two, come take a look at what happened overnight and where we are. And I'll show you tomorrow how to antique it and uh, so yeah, if you two want just a chippy, what I call a yummy, chippy, shabby look, um, our milk paint's pretty Actually, nice. no, this is just our milk paint, no yep. crackle added. Nope. That's so, the surprise it gets, right? Just mm -hmm. does that weirdness. All right, cool, well, let's give away something. Let's give away this. Okay, one. let's give away. She's number oh, nine out of 10. Else. So she's the, uh, she's like the ninth circle of baby. Ooh. So there you go. All right, so, so let's see, you wanna pick one? I'm gonna keep drying them while you're uh, while you're picking somebody. And remember, Robin Suber. Oh man, that was fast. 
Robin Suber, S-U-B-E-R. Oh, I got a lot of drying done there, Matt. Robin Suber, just like Subaru. Or soup. It's, no, soup. no, it's S-U-B-E-R. Yes, today. All right, you got it? All right, yep. so hopefully Robin's here with us. Robin, what you have to do is email us over at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Put winner, winner in the subject line. And what happens is I get to see that and go, woohoo! All right, just do it before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, so you can take advantage of that offer. And then what we'll do is email you back a code. Go to junkmonkeypaint.com. And when you um, buy something over there, just use your $20 credit to get a can of paint you want, try some milk paint you want, whatever you want to do, girl. Yep. It's all you. All right, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Auf Wiedersehen.